So my name is John Bevan. I work for Sparfinder Wireless 365 and I'm the Managing Director of uh, Europe. So I think for me the main trends in luxury are personalisation. I think uh, people are now looking for more and more of a personalised experience when they go to a luxury hotel. I think also um, generally experiences. People want to, uh, to go to places and experience either the local uh, area or, or do something when they get there. It's no, I think now, in, especially in leisure, it's less about just turning up and, and relaxing on a beach. It's about embracing the local area, the local food, um, the local habits, uh, and maybe taking in some, some kind of personal experiences. I think one of the biggest challenges in luxury is probably the word luxury uh, and the definition. Um, it's such a wide area now, you know, luxury to one person is completely different to what luxury is to another. And I think trying to really differentiate if, if you're a luxury property, you know, is it because you're a four or five or now six or seven star? I think one of the biggest uh, challenges has got to be, is, you know, try and differentiate yourself from as a product of one property from another. And that, that is a... I think it's going to be more of a complex problem going forward. Well, I listened to an interesting uh, speech at uh, the Global Wellness Summit uh, last year, where I think the big challenge is, um, is going to be that over the next 20, 30 years, the world is going to go from being um, known as big countries to big cities. And I think the shift is going to be very interesting to see that um, it's more where you live that will be important as in the city-wise rather than the country you live in and movements will be very different. They're already very fluid. Um, so I think, I think the influences, of course, we know that China is growing fast, but you know, the, I think it's going to be more about the big, big cities around the world that are going to dominate rather than countries. Wellness is an absolute must. Um, what we're seeing is it's not just that a lot of hotels now are putting spas in and have fantastic facilities for the traveller. The travellers themselves, we are all changing. We are trying to take our wellness with us. Um, and having been in the spa industry now for two years and speaking to friends who are in the travel industry who are also doing it. You know, people now want to go away with their family and still carry on with their sporting activities or eating well or having some, some leisure time some, or some quality spa, spa moments with their other half. I think that the biggest uh, change is, is the, the fact that lifestyle is changing, that people want to feel healthier. Our governments are pushing us to be preventative rather than reactive to our health. Um, we all want to live longer and a lot of us have had quite a good time up until now so we realise it's probably not too late to start looking after our bodies. Um, so I think, I think uh, you know, the integrating wellness into the experience and luxury hotels is an absolute must. People will want it when they arrive. They don't need everything. I don't think they'll need the whole kind of detox programs. There'll be specialist places for that. But they need to make sure the client, or they have the facilities for when the clients arrive to carry on doing, whether it's their fitness, healthy food, um, and often it could be local healthy food. It doesn't have to be, you know, dieting food. So I think, you know, wellness is, is completely integrated. And I think one of the biggest factors, one of the things I ask for a lot of people is, when you go on holiday, do you want to come back the same weight you were? Or do you want to put on weight? You know, in, in the old days, we'd all put on weight because we just did nothing. And now we want to come back at least the same weight as we were when we left.